everyone, it's Therese with IELTS English Gurus and thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do so now and don't forget to click on notifications so you don't miss important videos for 2021. Today we're speaking about articles. That's the, a uh, and an for IELTS writing tasks one and two. And I've been correcting and reviewing a lot of IELTS essays from students and I am so impressed at the level of vocabulary and coherence and logic in those essays. However, I've noticed that with a lot of different people, the use of articles can really pull down the band score for GRA. And that's why if you feel that you're stuck at band score level 6 or 5, then this video will be good for you because we can bring you up bring up your grammar range and accuracy with the use of good articles. Let's start with the word the. The definite article is often misused in a lot of different ways because in the translation into other languages, articles are used quite differently. So let's take a look at how we use this word in English correctly. So the definite article is used to refer to a noun that we know. It signifies that the noun is the only one in reference. So for example, here is the black cat. It's only one cat. The indicates that there is only one black cat. The definite article is used to refer to a specific noun that we may know. So for example, this is the car from the magazine. It's one particular car that I'm referring to. We also use it for uncountable nouns. So for example, here is the information you want. Now the indefinite article refers to a singular uncountable noun. So for example, here is a cat. That means, well, that there are many, many cats and this is just one of them. We refer to something for the first time we use the indefinite article. We use the definite article the second time we use it in the same sentence. Or the same paragraph. So for example, there is a blue pen on the table. Use the pen to write the letter. Here is an apple. The apple is red. Let's take a look at an IELTS writing task 2 example and take a look to see what the mistakes are as I read through it. It's a direct question essay. There are growing health problems caused by poor diet and lack of exercise in our population. What can be done to prevent this? And I've written over the past 10 years, there has been a lot of discussion on topic of health, diet and exercise. There have been concerns about increasing issues such as the diabetes and heart problems related to our way of eating and lowered physical activity. In this essay, I would like to present and explain the best ways to prevent these health problems. So do you see the mistakes here? Well, firstly, in sentence one, over the past 10 years, there has been a lot of discussion on the topic of health. So we need a definite article because topic is very specific. It's a specific topic about health, diet and exercise. Now in sentence number two, we refer to diabetes, which is a disease. So we don't need an article at this point. Let's move on to the second paragraph. Firstly, promoting a balanced diet is the best step in preventing diet-related disease and conditions. For example, famous British chef Jamie Oliver implemented educational plan in schools to teach school administration children about healthy diets. So what's missing here? Do you see? It's we need an article before the famous British chef because we're referring to a specific person. It's a famous British chef. So we need the, it's a very specific noun. Later in the sentence implemented an educational plan because plan is countable noun. Educational is the adjective. So we refer to a and an to refer to a noun that we may not know. So for example, there is a white house. There is a white house. There are many white houses. There is an egg. And then we use the when we refer to it again. The white house is large. 
So we don't use uh, the indefinite article with an uncountable noun. So for example, we do not say, please give me an information, please give me information. And we use the definite article with an uncountable noun when it is specific. So please give me the information about transport. When do we not use articles? This is really important also because if you're putting the or a or an in front of nouns where you don't need the article, then you'll be marked down in terms of grammar range and accuracy. So for example, when we say monkeys are funny, we don't need an article here because you're referring to members of a group. So that's not necessary. When you refer to um, a noun in a general context, an uncountable noun, you don't need the article. So for example, happiness is important. Happiness is an uncountable noun. It's not specified here, it's generalized, so we don't need the article. When we refer to uh, people, books, movies, etc., we don't need the article. So Titanic is a famous movie, no article. If you refer to geographical features like cities or towns or lakes, you don't need the article. Like New York is an exciting city. Or if we refer to sports or meals, John plays rugby, I enjoy football, we're having fish for dinner. So I know articles can be really, really tricky, but uh, I'll refer you in the link below to a really good grammar exercise online and also other YouTube videos that might be useful for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good luck in IELTS writing tasks one and two. See you in our next video. Bye.